Did you know that according to WHO, anxiety disorders affected 301 million people in 2019, including 58 million children and adolescents? And this alarming figure is proof to the fact that mental health being an illness is becoming more and more serious among the students, and it is a complex as well as the widespread issue of the world. And we are Jack, Fook, and Pat from the Joke Journey High School. We are here to discuss about stress and mental health, which are usually being neglected in our life. When mentioning about healthcare and well-being, some acts of physical health can be mentioned as working out, exercising, and playing sports. However, well-being doesn't stop at this point, but it also consists of mental health, which are emotional, psychological, and social well-being. And mental health play an important role in uh, affecting how we feel, think, and act, as it helps us to handle stress and make up healthy drugs. So, both mental health and physical health are important in every stage of our life. So, what is stress? Stress is a common feeling when we feel under pressure. <coughs> Stress, well, very small amount can be good because it can motivate us to miss our goals. But too much stress being out of control can negatively impact our mood, well-being, and our relationship with other people. Students today often face a multitude of pressures and expectations that can, can contribute to high levels of stress. For example, like academic pressure, overload works, and also exams, as well as constant pursuits of high grades. It's so hard you tell people to do it again. Oh, ah, how do you do it? So sometimes you try to perform well or maintain your certain image. However, it usually put a lot of pressure on you. I'm here. Oh, this was nice. Yeah, it's too cute. I don't have an appetite. My what school should I join? So, future uncertainties are some of the problems that students, especially last year's students, is facing day by day. Especially the pressure that the parents put on them or the peer pressure by friends. Future uncertainties happen and it becomes a big pressure to students' mind. There will be some consequences like mental and physical health issues. For example, worry, anger, and difficulties in concentrating. As well as some symptoms like headache, exhaustion, insomnia. A lot of that is academic performance. Students may find it difficult to concentrate in lessons as well as perform well in assignments and exams. This can lead to a decline in grades. So it's important to address the students' stress collectively as well as provide them support and resources in order to help them to cope with stress levels effectively. One of the best ways to reduce stress is to get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep helps you to ensure sufficient rest and recovery. Good night. You should also reduce the intake caffeine and sugary food. Instead, have a healthy diet to support your overall well-being. Next is to manage time wisely for both studying and resting. We can create a schedule or use a planner to manage our time effectively and prioritize tasks. We can also break large tasks into smaller manageable chunks to avoid feeling overwhelmed. We only live our lives once, so we need to live a happy and meaningful life. In order to have such a life, we need to take care of our mental health. Without it, all the education and efforts will just be in vain. If you're an outsider, that's not possible. I shot you could do to happen. You should always be there for them, give them a soul to cry on, and always be a trusting working soul for them to live on. To end up, your physical health and your mental health are both important. And taking care of your mind is taking care of your life. Take time to nourish your mind and seek for support when it is. Always remember that healing is a journey, not a destination. And that's all our video. Thank you for listening and see, see you again. again.